The chauffeur mission in tier 2 of the redacted faction on DMZ can be an insanely frustrating experience. We have to infill without teammates, purchase a personal exfil at the buy station in the same deployment, then exfil with your personal exfil with another player in the same deployment. The reward for this mission is a TAC V contraband weapon, but the real reward is that you can progress to the tier 2 story mission and ultimately tier 3 of redacted after this, since this mission is kind of a gateway to get there. Infilling on your own is of course easy enough, buying a personal exfil for 50k at a shop isn't too difficult either, but the absolute killer here is using that exfil with another player. It can be done though, I did it in this run on a regain, so no backpack, no armor vest, just contraband weapons and a dream. For the 50k we want to try and get this as quickly as possible, my advice is to target strongholds, which pretty much guarantee 10 to 15k minimum, along with large backpacks and three plate vests. Obviously some strongholds yield more than others, but it's easy money, so if you do have a stronghold keycard, be sure to spawn in with it. Alternatively and additionally, contracts are great, particularly the ones that you can complete faster, like the HVT bounty contracts and intel contracts. That being said, doing a destroy supplies contract is great because you get cash for completing it and then it tells you where safes are in your vicinity, so you can go around and crack a few of these safes afterwards for a lot of cash too. If you are leaving it later in the game, supply drops are another great way for quick and easy cash as well. Okay, so that's the 50k part more or less sorted. Now it's the bit where we need to get someone on our team and on the personal exfil chopper with us. Generally, a Sheikah Island is better for assimilation with other players I found, for the simple reason that it's a smaller map and there are just more engagements with other operators. I've played quite a few games where there are just people lying around asking to be picked up, giving us great opportunities for getting them on our team and personal exfil. That being said, it can be done on our Mars or two, and whichever map you're on, I advise to go to busy areas or areas you know players are in, and then just try and talk to them to team up. Or if they're not talking, send out invitations to join a team nearby. You can get lucky and end up talking to some nice people who want to team up. Or just people that are so afraid they accept your invitation to team up. Or I found more success by downing people or killing people and essentially forcing them onto my team. This doesn't always work. Sometimes people will ignore your invitations or when you kill them, they can't be assimilated. This happened to me near an exfil point where in the proximity chat, they said they didn't want to join up and they'd find me and kill me, only for them to eventually die to me and then be mad at me. Don't be like these people. But generally, using a mix of these tactics will ensure we get to team up with someone. It's best to still have the 50k still handy at this point when we do team up, so you can buy a personal exfil nearby rather than have to convince your new teammates to travel halfway around the map again. Alternatively, you can buy the personal exfil first if you target an area you expect players to be in or passing through. For example, I knew the gas was going to start expanding in this area and push players towards downtown, so I set up at this shop near the downtown post office to try and capture players and exfil that way. You can even send out chat messages to the whole lobby and try and get people to come to you that way. I did send out a couple of these, but I'm not sure that this was the reason I came across these teams. I did manage to assimilate with this team after killing them, and then my personal exfil chopper was just waiting for us to make it nice and easy. So there are ways to make a fast 50k, and there are various strategies to get joining up with other players, including chatting with them in proxy, sending out team invites, or just killing them and forcing them on board. But what was clear during this mission is that you need a bit of luck. If you are struggling with any missions, by the way, you can become a deluxe member of the channel and join in in our weekly gameplay days where I can help you out. And now that you're done here, why don't you check out the best free skins you can get in Warzone 2 right now?